Good morning. Uh, to, for today's reading lesson, we're going to go over your comprehension of the last reading lesson, which was the big breakup letter. Um, I know some of you were confused, um, but hopefully you figured it all out by now. And if you hadn't, I'm going to go through all of that now. So you've probably already figured this out, but just in case you didn't, AC were the American colonists, KG was King George III, and the breakup letter was the Declaration of Independence, okay? So if you figured all those three things out, give yourself a pat on the back. If you didn't, no big deal, now you know. So in the Declaration of Independence, there's four main parts. There's what's called the preamble, which just means like an introduction. This is not the same preamble as in the Constitution. That's the one where we, the people, in order to hold, have whatever. Um, this preamble starts when in the course of human events it becomes necessary, blah, 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 blah. So there are different words because it's a different document. Again, the preamble just means an introduction. So every single document is going to have its own preamble, and they will be different. Then it has a declaration of rights, then it lists the grievances, and then there's a statement of, in oh, big spelling error, independence, independence. I will fix that before I send it to you. All right, so the declaration of rights. On the left is from our breakup letter, and on the right are the words from the declaration of independence. And guys, it's long. I didn't, I just grabbed snippets. So in the breakup letter, um, AC was talking about that relationships should be give and take, that the person KG wasn't um, taking their feelings into account and doing whatever they wanted to do, and they made all the decisions, and so AC wasn't very happy. And then if you look at the Declaration of Independence on the right, it looks like I picked... Anyway, um, so let's see, what was I going to focus on? See, the thing is, guys, I'm looking at this, and this is like one sentence. So let me try and find the part of the sentence I want to focus on. Um, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed, which means people in the country need to agree that people are running the show. Uh, whenever any form of government becomes destructive to these ends, it's the right of the people to alter or abolish it and institute new government laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. In other words, you're not listening. So the grievances, these are the complaints that the colonists um, listed. Now on the left, again, is from the breakup letter. And this is just saying, you know, you tell me how much sugar I can eat. That's a little aha to the sugar act. Um, pop I can drink and telling me where I can and cannot go and even controlling what I read because there's a lot of control, right, with the taxes and the different laws. So some of the grievances, sorry, grievances from the actual Declaration of Independence was for quartering large bodies of armed troops, which we studied, for cutting off our trade with all parts of the world, which we didn't really talk about, for imposing taxes on us without, without our consent, for depriving us in many cases of the benefits of trial by jury. Guys, their list of complaints, if I were to put it on here and fill the whole screen, would, have, would be like three slides long. So I just picked a couple things. There were lots of complaints. But the bottom of the grievances section um, was where the colonists tried to say, you know, we've tried and you weren't listening. So on the left again is our breakup letter and this, this AC, our American colonist said, I've tried to make this work, giving you too many opportunities to change your ways. And yes, you fix some of the problems, but just the small stuff. And the words from the declaration um, say, in every single stage of these oppressions, we have petitioned for redress. The most in the most humble terms. So oppressions are the things they didn't like. Petitioning for redress, they're asking for him to rethink it. Our repeated petition pet petitions have been answered only by repeated injury. So you know we ask for something and you answer us with more taxes. 
A prince whose character is thus marked by every act which may define a tyrant is unfit to be the ruler of free people. Um, notice again, that's one sentence. All right. And so the next part is the resolution. And in the breakup letter, um, the American colonists said, or AC said, I'm sorry things didn't work out, but I gave you time to change and you didn't. You're the one to blame for this and us is over. And in the declaration, it says, we, therefore, the representatives of the United States of America and boys and girls, fact, that's the first time legally that was ever sent, said together, the United States of America. And general Congress assembled appealing to the supreme judge of the world for the rectitude of our intentions do in the name and by authority of the good people of these colonies solemnly publish and declare that these united colonies are and of right ought to be free and independent states that they are absolved from all allegiance to the british crown <sighs> one sentence um so here's where they're saying you know it's not working out we're going to make our own country so we've got the united states and England, and a big breakup. So 50 men, sorry, 56 men, sorry, I got distracted, signed this document, and it was adopted, meaning they agreed upon it on July 4th, 1776. And this is why we celebrate the 4th of July, or Independence Day. So have a great rest of your day. Get some reading in if you want. Get some time outside. Do some field day stuff. Um, and I will see you later. Bye. Oh, goodness, my computer's doing it again. <laughs>